Atopy dermatitis patients with high rash are suffering to the extent that it is affecting their normal livelihood. These sufferings will not be simple to resolve. The scars of atopy dermatitis all over the body are enough to show the agony of the patients. Just why are these patients increasing so rapidly? Atopy dermatitis has not yet proved its cause and it is classified as a disease which is impossible to verify. As it tends to reactivate again after once showing an improvement through the treatment course, it is regarded as a disease that is very fussy to treat for a cure. Korean traditional medicine treatment for this disease is being preferred nowadays as it has low side effects. Well, so how is this treatment being carried out for atopy dermatitis? Five-year-old Sue is currently suffering from atopic dermatitis. She's had this from birth, and while she hoped that it will eventually disappear, it was not happening. The visual scars Sue's mom is very concerned over, especially since she's a girl. While she is playing, it is typical for her to scratch her arm and neck, since she couldn't avoid it. Although her mother tells her not to scratch in case of scars, this is not easy to do when she sees how frustrated her daughter is. Atopic dermatitis is a disease that should not be overlooked, since it can affect the appearance and also the daily routine if it is serious. Just what kind of disease is atopic dermatitis? Atopy in Greek means abnormal response, mysterious or unknown. As the term suggests, the cause is complicated by various reasons, thus indicating a complicated treatment for cure. Atopy dermatitis is derived from a person with an atopy allergy, resulting in a chronic skin disease, usually showing symptoms of dry skin and rashes. Korean traditional medicine regarded atopy dermatitis as an inherited internal disease from parents rather than caused by external matters. Thus, to prevent this, it would be important to take good care during pregnancy. If the blood color of the maternity woman is dark or she has a high fever, the baby will be born with an atopy potential. Those years, purely protected by nature, Atopy dermatitis has not been a serious skin disease. Korean traditional medicine used to say that babies will be born by putting their feet on the land. That is, they used to believe that once babies began to walk, atopy dermatitis would recoup naturally. However, today, while the land is becoming more urbanized and dirt is disappearing, and our children are growing up old enough to run around, atopy dermatitis does not tend to be gone. Thus, it is not a disease which will disappear as you grow older. Atopy dermatitis symptoms occur most before reaching one year old. It has been found that 85% of the patients show the symptoms before reaching five. While 50% of the patients recover before reaching two years of age, 25% continue to carry the disease up to high school. The remaining 25% are found to maintain it until adulthood. Thus, it would be very wrong to take it as a disease which can only be caught during childhood. This means that atopy dermatitis is not a disease which we could hope to get rid of as we get older. Well then, why is it showing a different aspect compared to the past? The blocked atmosphere of the city environment reduces the skin's ability to control moisture
and the development of chemical washers tends to create further skin problems instead. Hence, those products that are being used to maintain its purity are actually breaking the protection lines of the skin, thereby dropping its immunity instead. Needles to protect against diseases and antibiotics are factors that are reducing the immune system of our bodies. The problem is becoming serious since our body is losing its own ability to confront diseases as we are relying on those external factors. Being surrounded by an environment covered by cement, atopy dermatitis is currently in an increasing trend. In fact, atopy dermatitis is regarded as a disease of the advanced country, or a city disease. It does not appear to be a serious disease in countries with more dirt roads than cement, in low developed countries. The moisture of the skin, which used to be controlled by nature's dirt and water, is now being replaced by concrete houses. Atopy dermatitis seems to appear more in the developed countries with clean living style than those underdeveloped ones. Skin has a protection line which can block external germ penetration. These protections have self-healing abilities. They break down as we misuse soaps or use too many chemical substances. It is to the extent that the first layer breaks down followed by the second layer which protects germ penetration. When this occurs, the skin will be in a serious state of losing its self-healing ability. Hence, atopy dermatitis occurs for various reasons. Korean traditional medicine not only examines the skin, but it also distinguishes people with high body temperature with low, since depending on the functions of organs, effect on skin may vary. In atopy dermatitis, treatment method may vary depending on the symptoms. Since the treatment varies on individuals, understanding each body constitution will enhance the effect. Recently, Korean traditional medicine is in the process of approaching this study scientifically in a modern way. Here, having tested 500 children with atopy dermatitis with their hair, it was found that there was a particular body constitution for having this skin disease. This experiment is done through a wave analysis used in a biology experiment. Each substance has its own wave. Once the waves respond to each other after applying the substance on the waves, the machine will give particular codes. Through these codes, we can read whether the body temperature is high or low indirectly. Having combined each code, indicating plus or minus, the result shows that four codes concentrate 80% of the children with atopy symptoms and seven codes comprise 95%. Uh, these experiments show an accurate examination of atopy dermatitis. Those people classified under the codes have the potential to catch the disease, even though symptoms are not appearing just yet. On the other hand, if they don't fit in the code, even though symptoms are similar, this indicates that they can be easily treated. 
Once the type of atopy is determined, it can be treated consistently in the long term. While skin disease could be recovered through an external treatment, atopy dermatitis could reappear once the symptom calms down, since the disease is actually inside the blood. There is a blood test which shows exactly how much the symptom is improving through the treatment. This can be evidenced by testing immune protein that appears in the body through blood. Checking patients with atopy dermatitis, we could see that their natural immune system have declined and the immune system that induces rash has increased. Korean traditional medicine treatment emphasizes in strengthening the natural immune system, especially the symptom for atopy dermatitis. Testing the blood before, during, and after the treatment, we could see the level of immunity. Although the symptoms may appear worse during the treatment, its effect can be seen in the level of immunity through the blood test. If the patient's body constitution had been misdetermined, the effect may not appear, even through a long-term treatment. For this reason, Korean doctors put their best effort to come out with an accurate determination using various machines. There are places that carry out this test through a fingerprint body constitution. A machine called Kumpit Mal is a machine developed in North Korea formed by observing individual fingerprints for each body constitution. If you scratch the atopy dermatitis, there will be secretions from a sore creating an infection. The patient's status can be determined by a close-up photo, subsequently checking how much the immunity has declined. The atopy disease is the most important thing. As a result, the immune system is the most important thing to the atopy disease. I 예 문제가 아니라 자연 면역계를 활성화를 통해서 가려움을 유발하는 항체를 근본적으로 낮추는 것이 아토피 치료의 근본적인 해법이 될 수가 있고 이 자연 요법이나 어떤 한방 치료에 있어서 가장 특징이 된다고 하는 것은 인체 인체에서의 자연 면역계를 활성화를 통해서 근본적으로 해결할 수 있다고 하는 한방적인 치료의 어떤 장점이나 어떤 특징이 있을 수가 있겠습니다. There are various types of atopy dermatitis, and the main one is the intake medication. This is because medication is most important in balancing the body constitution that has been broken down by various factors. If a particular organ has a high temperature or contains a lot of waste, medication is used to remove these, and if any of the organs are excessively active, it works to moderate it. On the other hand, if a certain organ's function has dropped, then the medication works to balance the body, thereby increasing the immunity. Atopy dermatitis is only one of the symptoms of an unbalanced body. Hence, according to Korean traditional medicine, if the balance in the body is broken, then any of the disease could appear. The agony of atopy dermatitis is the strong rash, which usually appears when the skin is very dry. Korean traditional medicine uses creams extracted from herbs to moderate it. It also uses aloe, which has cold characteristics, and other herbal medicines at the same time. These external uses are applied for the skin to maintain an acidity of pH 5.5, thus protecting it from germs and dust to penetrate. For external purpose, creams and sprays are used to cool the skin. These help the skin by a supplementary effect on dry skin and also reduce the infection caused by scratching. 
Thus, these help to relieve the patient's agony from itchiness and protect from contamination. Furthermore, these enhance the main goal of controlling the immune system. There is a particular treatment called smoke treatment method. This is a treatment using the smoke from burning various medicinal herbs. This method is actually from the Dongyuan region. This is actually a method of treatment in the traditional way. 연, 이 대부분 이제 하, 한약이라는 건 다려서 먹어서 효과를 내는데 어, 그것이 아니라 어, 이 양분을 태워가지고 그 태운 연기의 에, 강력한 그 항균력이라든가 소염력을 이제 에, 유발시키는데 이것이 아마 아, 연기요법의 주의된 골자일 겁니다. 어, 물론 그 피부가 튼튼한 경우에는 좀더 강력한 그 약을 쓰고 어, 이제 소화인 경우에 아토피인 경우에 좀 순한 약을 for this treatment, herbs such as Artemensia princeps var, Mentha arvinius var, and Chrysanthemum morifolium are used, and depending on the symptoms, different materials are used. To prevent the contamination of germs for atopy dermatitis, Artemisia princeps var and Hibiscus cerecius are burnt, creating smoke. And if the rash is too strong, then medicines like Schizonopita tenuifolia var can also be used. For those with atopia dermatitis, frequent baths should be avoided since it will make the skin drier. However, the bath style using herbal medicine recently could increase the treatment effect. If showers using soaps can drop the immunity of the skin, then bath using herbal medicine could relieve the symptom. 25-year-old Mr. Cho, who is currently suffering from atopy dermatitis at an adult age, is receiving effects from the herbal bath method. The reason why atopy dermatitis is being accepted as a serious disease is because any man or woman can contract it. It appears that the reason why Mr. Cho has caught this disease is because of his bad habits, which has broken the balance of the body. In this case, the result shows a break in the balance of the liver and lung. When he first visited the hospital, his symptoms were very serious. An improvement can be seen throughout the treatment. In Mr. Cho's case, the temperature of the liver is excessively high and the lung function has dropped, thus affecting the skin. In Korean traditional medicine, it is common to check the lung function through the skin, and hence this applies also to Mr. Cho. Through the pulse measurement, we will check the internal organ functions carefully before treating the liver and lungs with acupuncture. For Mr. Cho, rather than using the typical leave-on acupuncture, he is treated by constitution acupuncture, stimulating the meridian only. Atopia is very sensitive and the influence of the wind is very sensitive. It is very sensitive to the strong effect. 적절한 자극이 이제 필요된다 생각이 돼서 체질침을 이용해서 아토피를 치료하게 되었습니다. 이 침은 이제 꽂아놓지 않고 그 표피의 이제 경혈 혈점이라고 하는 그런 겉에 자극만 가지고서 인체의 경락을 이용을 해서 내부 장기 기능을 조절하는 그런 역할을 하고 있습니다. 그래서 기존에 있는 침하고는 좀 다르게 아픔이나 이런 것들이 좀 덜하고 효과는 훨씬 강력하다 쉽게 나타날 수 있습니다. As a result of treating together with acupuncture, the use of herbs such as the root of arrowroot and Scutellaria biacalensis, which are effective in reducing liver temperature, his atopy dermatitis has improved dramatically. Atopy dermatitis is directly related to our living habits. Food cooked at over 100 degrees should be avoided, and fried or baked food is not good either. Food with MSG and preservatives and other similar foods could worsen the disease. If you are suffering from atopy dermatitis, try to eat non-salty and protein food, 
as well as large amounts of vegetables and fruits that can neutralize poison. In the years when medicine was not developed enough, self-healing immune system, which could cure diseases, played an important role. During then, our skin most probably performed its best immunity suitable to the environment. However, the medical development nowadays are actually declining our immune system instead. Korean traditional medicine focuses on developing our own immunity for atopy dermatitis. A cup of tea will give us peace in our busy life but also has a good effect in our health, especially for atopy dermatitis, which is greatly affected by food. Let's find out about herbal teas that can help improve the symptoms. Atopy dermatitis, which leaves horrible scars and unbearable rashes. The herbal tea that is good for this disease has been derived from plants These help to reduce body temperature and purify the blood, subsequently enhancing our natural immune system of our body. The dried rose of Sharon with a full scent purifies the blood and relieves our body by cleaning it from within. The body's immune system can be enhanced by purifying the blood. Making the tea is considerably easy. Just put the dried rose of Sharon in hot water and soak it. The leaves inside the water will spread gradually and its scent will also leave a strong impression. Each sip of drink will leave a sweet taste and scent inside the mouth. Herba Hootenay was given its name for it diffuses a unique scent just like the smell of fish from the root and leaves. Its ability to live is so strong that it was the first plant to grow on the land ruined by an atomic bomb. Herba Hootenay has an effect of an antiphlogistic. When making the tea, put it in boiling water for about two hours to obtain a medicinal effect. Drinking this tea during an infection caused by atopy dermatitis will be effective. The green tea, which is well known for cancer and hardening of the arteries, also has an effect in constraining the occurrence of atopy dermatitis. Making the tea is also simple. Just put the green leaves in hot water for about 10 minutes. Although slightly bitter, you'll be able to taste it more as you drink it. This is perfect for people who have atopy dermatitis as a result of high temperature. Salmon cassis, which has brown seeds, is good for reducing body temperature. Since it is comprised of cold characteristics, it is good for atopy dermatitis patients. This is widely known for it is effective in reducing liver temperature and also improving eyesight. Boil a spoon of salmon cassis for about two hours and you'll see the dread of red-brown color. Although it has sweet and bitter taste at the same time, as it is not so strong, you'll be able to enjoy its smooth taste of tea. These teas leave a moderate scent by soaking their dried leaves in hot water. While the sweet and bitter taste is the best you can find, drinking it often will be good at all times as it helps to cure atopy dermatitis, which is difficult to cure.